The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. When was the last time you had really good Texas-style barbecue? Eric's Family Barbecue, the way it's supposed to taste. Always delicious, never rushed, and prepared to perfection. Eric's Family Barbecue uses only 100% fresh meat, slowly smoked over mesquite wood until it's juicy and delicious. We all know their brisket is the best, but have you tried their pulled pork, pork ribs, or rib tips? Amazing, and their sides are all house-made. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Go to Eric's Family BBQ. BBQ.com for more information. Holmberg's morning sickness. The old method of treatment for a person in this condition was to throw him in jail. Uh, look, everybody, Greg Fitzsimmons is here. It's a great day. It's our last day for like, this is it. Senioritis, man. We're almost done. What so do you we, mean, look? How long have you been on radio? We get cameras. Oh, you do? Yeah. Sure, as far you as should, you know. I, you never know with these radio shows. No, we you know, don't. I'm sitting here picking my ass. And, <laughs> yeah, you know. the crotch cams on. You think right? I would yeah. put this kind of effort into the visual that you're getting right yeah. now on me if we had cameras in here? It is amazing. I don't even try anymore. I look like somebody who doesn't get paid at all, let alone gets a check regularly. Do people hand you change when you walk down the street? <laughs> Sometimes. Like, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Seriously? That's they the do? goal. That's the goal. Yeah. yeah. If I can get a little extra on the side for drinking Why not? money, forget it. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm... radio money's not what it used to be. Well, no, it's not even Wait, close. Do, if you guys, you're the number one station in town, oh, right? Thank you for yeah. bringing yeah. 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 Are you? Yeah. Yep. So, and how many years you've been on the air? This is we're going into seventeen. All right. So seventeen years, number one show. Yeah. Has your money continued to go up, or oh, have yeah. they tried to cut back? Oh, there's on no you? cutbacks here. No. We're, we're the cash cow. They can cut all the other stations that they're, they've anchored on to, but yeah, right. we're we're just, you know I'm knocking on something, but yeah, yeah, okay. we've all done well. So what kind of money? We're riding are you the wave. <laughs> what do you What do you think? I'm guessing three million a year. Okay. Man, I need you as an agent, though. That's really yeah. – that would be that nice. That would be nice. Are you making se- seven figures? No. Uh, no. But that's it's... absurd. <laughs> that's what I think, Greg. That, I mean, that really is. That's... If you're the number one show in Todd, a market like this – Now, the budget for the show is, is over that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good portion over that. But yeah. yeah. No, I'm not. I mean, God damn it. You're right. That is insane. Listen, I, I go on about this. What do should I do? You know what Corolla makes on his oh, podcast and Rogan to, makes on his podcast? Adam, Adam, we had the same conversation. I did his podcast a couple times when he comes to town. Yeah. according to them. And he does the or, shall I have fact. Because my boss oh, is no. Adam's old boss, Trip Reeb, used to run Yeah, Kira. No, I know what yeah. they make. Yeah, well, and he told me. It's many absurd. millions. It's yeah. absurd. Yeah. And he's like, so is uh, Trip still uh, robbing you blind? Like yeah. the, and I'm like, no, I'm, I'm being treated well. Right. Yeah, and that's what you think. And then I go into your break, and they, <laughs> they, they make you pay 50 cents for granola bar. There's a whole oh, – folks, you got to see Greg. this. It looks oh, like a gas you've station. you up a can of worms. Greg, this yeah. is, this is literally a dilemma. 75 cents for this, 50 yeah, cents for this. Terrible. And there's a little box that you're supposed to yeah. put the money into. It's got a lock on it. That's impossible. Well, cabinets it, it, are locked. Uh, this is recent. Now, what it used to be was an honor system. Yeah. But the week, like radio, doesn't pay a lot of people very well, and uh, the weekenders were just treating it like a grocery store, yeah. and they were taking we a think, lot we of have stuff. Theories, off. and that's a so, pretty good theory. Next thing you know, all of us normal people have to unlock yeah, stuff right. to get candy, and it's 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 demeaning. <laughs> and as a guest, it it doesn't make you feel like the place is doing well. Yeah. It's the reason why I'm asking you about where you're getting paid. No, you're right. Uh, you're right. And it looks it, so good. It doesn't look good yeah. when a guest sits there and you're like, hey, kick in. Yeah, Jackass. right. Because if you're not, you're, right. you're Am I allowed robbing. to open the refrigerator yeah. door? Oh, no. It's gotten to the I used to. I just, I, I used to PayPal to the girl that does it. I'd give her like 100 bucks. Yeah. i go, tell me when I'm dry. I'll throw another in. Yeah, that's nice. You know, and I want to system alive. And right. evidently the weekend people and the, the low lifes that work radio, which is inevitable. Yeah. It just started. We think we've opened another dry. general store yeah, with the yeah. supplies it that have bad. walked out. Yeah, right. it's really bad. So, yeah, it's a, it's a new dilemma for us. This is a week Come old. Come in one day, there's a microphone missing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fart machine's gone. Never. I have backup <laughs> fart machines. Are you crazy? You're talking about morning. the old station. <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh, that bad. one, man, so the bad. stuff was walking out there. But really? It is, oh. Yeah. oh, my God. Yeah. Well, it's true, though. You walk in as a guest and you see this palace that we've built. And you think, yeah. oh, they overspent on the house. I know. And I see what you're spending on your clothing. And I think. <laughs> and this was expensive. You know, Don't right. lie to yourself. This is a Pittsburgh Steelers authentic. This thing probably was like 50 bucks. And, and then Come the Pittsburgh man. Steelers hat. It's a big weekend. Yeah. 
Is yeah, it who they play? They got the Patriots this week. It's a big, uh, big weekend, Greg. Are you a football guy? You're not a football. I guy. watched Pittsburgh and the Patriots this past week. Oh no, I, kidding! There you go. So I you have look, to say a couple big ones. injuries on Pittsburgh this past week. Yeah, I've had a couple of couple of nightmares. We'll be fine. Yeah. I'm not worried about. It. See, I'm wearing the gear. It's all good luck. We're fine. Well, that guy Rutherlisberger, very good. <laughs> he's been around for a couple <laughs> yeah. months. Yeah, he's yeah. not bad. I think he's got a future. I think he's yeah. going to be all right. You know what I like about you? This always comes up in my brain when we see that you know Greg's going to be here next week. Greg Fitzsimmons in town. I always think to myself, especially in the culture that we got going on, you're never going to be in trouble. And it's your lesson for all people younger to have no secrets. Well, the key is. You're an open book. Because I know where you're going with it. Get married because if you're married, you're not sexually harassing other women because you're sexually harassing your own wife. Constantly. I come up to my wife. She'll be doing dishes. And all of a sudden, she's got hands in her sweater. (laughs) I'm dry humping her. Like, I just harass her all day. She doesn't yeah. walk past me without no. my hands going on her body. No, I, and her body's good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. If she wasn't, I'd probably, I'd probably be harassing somebody. <laughs> so I think the key to the Me Too movement has yeah. to be get women in the gyms. Get the, oh, but wow. only the wives. Yeah. Get the wives in the gym. That, it's, it's legal sexually harassing. Yes. And let the women that are – I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. I'm you're gonna not. I'm going to get in trouble for what I'm saying. I say on the air I constantly that my wife and I play the rape game regularly. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. I wake her with it. Yeah. And she screams in terror, and that's part of the excitement. And then – And then we go. You close? Oh, of course. She loves it. I Can't thought of a funny I literally one. say – she says sometimes to me, she'll hand me a thing of lubricant that's cherry flavored. That's how we know we're in trouble. She goes, if you plan on raping me tonight – and I'm like, awesome. This is like a dream for all men to hear right. that phrase. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And it's, it's up on. to you. It's like, right. maybe I will, maybe I won't. Right. I don't know. I'm, I'm halfway to putting like bushes in our bedroom so I can yep. jump out from behind them. It's phenomenal. Yeah. So you're right, though. That's the truth. Get married to somebody who plays the game. Do you want to know what we did two days ago? Yes. And I haven't talked about this Please before. Please tell us. I'm, at, I'm on the front porch and I'm putting the Christmas tree into the Christmas tree stand. Uh-huh. So I'm in a low squat. I look like a Korean grocer (laughs) healing some corn. And she's standing behind me. And I fart. As you do when you're married, you try to extend your farts as long as possible for maximum humor. (laughs) So I let out a really nice, high-pitched, whiny one. A squealer. And all of a sudden, she puts the top of her foot on my bunghole and (laughs) takes it on and off like a mute on a trumpet. (laughs) Nice. And it, just, and it goes like, <laughs> and it just keeps on going. And we fell down on all fours laughing for like a minute. And then she goes, who let us be parents? Yeah. yeah. Uh, who allowed you to grow up? <laughs> it's great because she was in on it immediately. Yes. She had a plan. Yeah. Oh, see, that's the, that's the type. That's a marriage yeah. that'll last forever. Yes. That is one that'll that's last forever. That's a good match. Yeah. It's just, it's uh, the people who are out there running around, you're right. And I always, I think that the revolution for the, the new age is going to be the big girl. Guys are going to stop paying attention to pretty women because it's too risky. Big girls don't anything. They don't talk. They, they appreciate. Game they're, on. they're grateful. Wow. It's true. You don't sexually harass them now yeah. because they're the big girl. But right. in the future, you're going to look at the hot girl and go, oh, she's strong. Yeah. She can yeah. get anything she wants and I'm probably too her. ugly for this. She's a beater. Yeah. She, <laughs> and the, the big girl down the hall is like, look, I'm not yeah. going to say a word. Yeah. It's great. The The future belongs and to the And the older woman. ladies, too. That's genius. Yeah. yeah. Older ladies, yeah. forget it. Yeah. yeah. When, I was, when I was 19 years old, I was dating a 40-year-old. Oh, wow. And then when I was about 24, I dated a 50-year-old. Oh, my God. How did that happen? Which was better? The 40. 50 was a bit much. <laughs> but the 40-year-old was still – the elasticity was still solid. <laughs> 50 was she sagging was, a little bit. She was still yeah. snapping back. <laughs> The 50 yeah. was more of a, of, of a dare with myself. And the grandkids. How long did you date the 50-year-old? Or was you know what's it just, crazy is I'm banging a 50-year-old now. Yeah, I know. And it's okay. It's okay. Her breasts are so right. good. St- yeah, and it's because they're yours. Well, no, because they're good breasts. Well, they, that too, maybe. They're just 34 double Ds. Fantastic. And they're, they're, they got a little hang, but they're not saggy. They haven't been destroyed by time. Nope. Areolas is intact. That's all you can ask for. <laughs> All you can ask for. How about you? Are you holding up? Would she, if she was here, how would she describe Greg Fitzsimmons? I've got my man boobs have, you know, those like wrinkles on the side when you look from the side. And then. You can't escape them either. And I'm 150 pounds. I've got a good body. Right. But a big pot. You got a belly. I went from 150 to 156 and it's all in my belly. Isn't that weird? And I don't, look, I shouldn't complain. I'm sure you have a lot of listeners that are, you know, bigger. Yeah. That'd be pointed to Brady. That was rude. 
That was nice. <laughs> but you're all nice. muscle. You're like a little wrestler. Uh, there's some table muscle there for sure. I got I got a pot too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, boiler. More of a boiler. You still exercise? I do. What do you do? Tennis. Nice. <laughs> and that golf. is a reaction to tennis. That golf's not I just want to see. I want to see a video of you playing tennis up with yeah. this music underneath it. Yakety sex tennis with Brady would be great. With a Santa Claus hat on? <laughs> you dress him up <laughs> Yeah, let him run. Uh, Greg Fitzsimmons at the Tempe Improv this weekend. Uh, all, all weekend. You're doing Sunday, too, which is rare now. You got the I don't know break. how I got roped into doing yeah. Sunday, but I'm doing Sunday. Yeah, you are. It's a long, sad day on Sunday. Because Saturday, <laughs> you got two shows. You're gearing up. It's yeah. Saturday night. And then Sunday is like... It ends up being the best shows because you're warmed up. You've been yeah. doing shows all weekend. You're comfortable in the room. And, right. Uh, but it's Sundays are a long day. Are you guys going to get together and watch football or anything? Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 You want to watch football? Steelers at my house every time. What got, time? Got about 20 people that roll in. 225. Really? Yeah, 225. I just make you wear a jersey. That's the only rule. I'll come over. All right, you got it. Done. How far are you from downtown? 10 minutes, tops. I'll Uber yeah. it over right. and uh, I'll fire over the address. We'll have it. Uh, we'll have it all together. It'll be great. This is so great. <laughs> no, you have no idea how sad I get on Sundays yeah. and I get to hang. Are you going also? Sure. sure. Goodbye. Come oh on. Oh my over. god. Yeah, Brady's got to wear a jersey too, and he's a Bengals fan. But it is Steeler. It's Steeler crazy. Oh no, I'm all for the Steelers. Okay, good. Yeah, because I it mean gets I'm weird. from New York, so I hate the Patriots. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. That, that's all you need right there. If we can hate the Patriots out loud, I've got. It's their sound effects. There's. It's pretty. It's. It's. How's the food? Uh, we we order from a place called Pat's Pizza, which is tradition now. It's really good. We have loads of pizza. Wings. Wings, wings are on the yep. way. They're already pre-ordered. They, and your wife will be there? My wife will be there ready to stare at you. She just had to up the order now that she That's right. Coming. Yeah. No, yeah, Brady's coming, so we get two extra pies. But now is she, can have those. Is, she pl- <laughs> is she planning on taking a nap? A nap no, the game? she likes it. Oh. No, unless you want her to rest. If you feel She'll, that she needs rest. I well, mean, I just know what happens guys... when she sleeps and you're around. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. No, <laughs> if you see the it cherry isn't, lube, it isn't a if the cherry lube's on the bar, yeah. then you know. It's not a Pavlovian move. Like if her eyes close, all of a sudden I'm hard as a rock and I'm in attack mode. You know mode. what? You need to bring a, a bottle of cherry yeah, lube. Yeah, I will hey, say. Hey, thanks for having me yeah, and hand it to her. If there are great. cherry smells great. in the air, something yeah. happened. That is a little Pavlovian too. Cherry lube. Cherry lube. I used to run down the hall smelling like a cherry tree. You don't want it to taste too good. Otherwise, you'll finish it, yeah. and then it will be none left to do the job. <laughs> That's it's right. To do. When you're thirsty at night and there's yeah. no water, you yeah. just no, take a little much friction. Liquid. It works. <laughs> it's like a little uh, high C, you know? You have a little at the bedside. Uh, yeah, it's weird, but you're right. If she does sleep, I can control myself. Right. I think that's what you're insinuating. Okay. That I, I can't do it. Although, depending on what she's wearing. And in the Roethlisberger jersey, it's tough. How's, what's her bra size? She is a, th- what is Megan? It's a 34C. Nice. That's perfect. Yeah, it's right on. Yeah. 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 We've talked about extending that. Yeah. Expanding those. Well, it is like, Phoenix. She yeah. wants, well, she's like, you know, like I, she wants to keep them the same size. She just wants a, a redo. Yeah, just pull yeah, them up still, a little bit. They're ridiculous. No, they don't yeah. need any of that. No. They're, they're absurd. Well, yeah, she's a personal Talk to me trainer. about the grooming. Grooming is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, she's a, a natural blonde, so it's not a thick, heavy anyway. You can, yeah. you so can we're, curl we're on good that shape. surface. Very soft. Yeah. yeah. Very soft. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice thing. How about yours? She's a mess. <laughs> yes, you are. She grows it out. It's like a 70s porn. And I talk to her about it. I'm like, hey, how about throw me a bone here? You know, but she... Uh, she uh, at least thatch it. Yeah. Well, she's got a C-section scar, Okay. so she grows it right. They did it really low, so it's in the pubic hair. Ah. So she doesn't want to shave it because it hides it. It hides the scar. Yeah. How bad's the scar? It's not like, you know, a Frankenstein butcher job. She had it in the 90s or 2000s, Did you right? see Friday the 13th? Oh, my God. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she needs to patch that. She no, needs- it looks not, like Tom Berenger's really down bad. there. It's Stucco, not maybe. bad at all. It's good. <laughs> maybe a little, I don't know. Spackle, you never hear guys. Spackle. You hear guys go, "I'm an ass man" or "I'm yeah. a breast man." Yeah. You never hear guys go like, "I'm a what's a the word you can? I'm not. I'm a vag man." Where it's yeah. like, Nobody "No, that's is. all." Are. Yeah, it's really all we're, we're after. all vag men. Yeah, but do we want to see it just in its natural state? I I don't. I wouldn't no. care if it had a Hitler insignia. <laughs> If he had a little Hitler mustache on it, I don't care. What am I going to not do it? It would just be interesting, as all. Yeah, it does that make me an anti-Semite? No, yeah. I'm just a man. <laughs> <laughs> if she put blackface no. on it, would it that is, make me a racist? No, it, it is makes powerful. her vagina it the anti-Semite. Very powerful. Right? That's right. It's the vagina that's the anti-Semite, yeah. and you can bang one of those and I, like raise your fist as a movement. Um, 
Well, uh, yeah. Wow. Fisting yeah. is a movement is okay. what I'm saying. Let's yeah. Fist, fist nice. is a movement. Yeah, I like that. It's uh, a lot. Greg's at the Tempe Improv this weekend. Uh, what do you got planned for the holidays? And you got, oh, I got the tree up. You obviously did that during the fart. Anything special? Um, we got it the tree like, up. It sounds like it's an outdoor tree. You said it was on the front porch. Everybody puts their stuff on the outside. Well, you, you don't? You know, because all the pine needles yeah. fall off oh, yeah, as okay. you're jamming it in, yeah. and then you take it inside. Oh, oh then you take it inside. Yeah. Okay. Right. I thought you set yeah. it up on the front porch. No, we put you're a multi-tree guy. That's a weird No. No, and then we, um, and then the dogs in, within five minutes have urinated on the tree. Oh yeah, they have to. You've brought the outdoors in. Yes. I mean, how confusing would that be to a mush-headed dog? Yeah. That they That's think, true. okay, this is a new spot for me. Clearly, because right. this is where they keep pushing me to pee. Yeah. Now they brought it in. That's yeah. why you have yeah. to pee on it on the porch yourself. You you label it first. That's not a bad idea. It, and then when you put it in the pot, take a dump in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Let everybody know. Yeah, tree sorry. Yeah. That's right. Claim. You can pop some of those sap bubbles and get the smell back. You'll be fine. So do you do big uh, Christmas or is it kind of a laid back one? No, we fly to New York. That's where oh, my wow. family's from, my wife's family's from. And then we uh, we exchange gifts. We actually exchange this twice with my family. Exchange, what am I? <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know what happened there, but it didn't look good. We're, what we're am gonna... I, Trump on saying God bless you very You know what, Richard, take him into the tent. Let's do a little concussion yeah, protocol because I think something happened. Uh, I just get so excited talking to you guys. <laughs> you know, it's the cherry lube. It's the cherry lube and the going. outfit. All you're for all a loop. And the sh- we exchange twice. Yeah. First, it's so stupid because this is like a stupid bit. It's not even a natural piece of conversation. I'm being a hack. What? We exchange gifts twice. <laughs> First, we exchange the gifts. Then we exchange the receipts. Then we go get the stuff we really want. <laughs> Who cares, Greg? Who cares about your stupid little cute it, joke? No, that's a cute joke because it's it's relatable, Greg. Oh, it's I hate adorable. myself right I, now. You could do TV Everyone. and comedy. You could be on the the, the religious broadcast with this guy. <laughs> yeah, kind of act. right. It's glorious. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, and now to donate. Yeah, you're going to open yeah. for Joel Osteen next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want a number scrolling across my chest as I do Craig Shoemaker-esque jokes. <laughs> Yeah, I like when you throw a kick in there. That's pretty yeah, solid. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, so yeah, because Christmas is just as normal. Do you get along with your family? I do. You know, yeah. my family's great. Um, my are you the weird one? Well, here's the thing. My kids are teenagers now, and they think, they think they've got it all figured out. They're at that point where it's like we sit around after dinner, and we play this game called – Hey, let's all talk about what a nerd dad is. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're so out of it. Dad, you don't get it. Dude, you don't know how to dance. And I just look at them like, hey, you don't know me, douchebag. Yeah. You don't know who I was. I used to be really cool. You know when I stopped being cool? When you two idiots were born. <laughs> You're still cool. I'm still cool. You're not cool. Yeah. What are you, 16? Yeah. When I was 16, I was high at dinner every <laughs> night. Look at you. You're not even high. Are your kids too straight laced? Would you hang out with your kids with sixteen year old no, Greg Fitzsimmons actually, hang out with your kids? No, my kids my son's he's come home drunk a couple times. Well, that's good. What am I gonna do? He's on the right track. Did you ground him? He's seventeen years old. He's doing it. You know, I I didn't ground him. I, he threw up and I was like, All right, that that's your punishment. Yeah. And if it continues, then we'll have to talk about ground. But you know what? He plays on club soccer, he plays on varsity soccer, he's getting straight A's. He's a stud. He's got a girlfriend. He's got it locked down. Other than down. being careful, don't get caught on that because he get kicked off the team, right? I gave I mean, him a pack of condoms good. and yeah. he laughed. Yeah, he's not using those. I don't know what he's using, or but he come using on, anything? Dad. Now, are you worried about that? A straight A student, he's a club soccer, and next thing you know, he's a dad at 17. Miserable. Yeah, he could be a good dad. Oh, you'd be a good dad, but at 17, is that ah, possible? That's oh. easy. <laughs> is it simple stuff? <laughs> no, I just think. <laughs> You know, like, because I look at me now, I'm 51 years old. Right. I'll be dead by the time they have kids. That's true. You know, let it start young. That's the way they used to do it. Then yeah. you have like a whole third act to your life where you're still young. Dragging kids around. I don't have kids. I don't want them. I had a vasectomy in February. All done with Did that. you really? Yeah, I'm done with that. Have you ever paid for an abortion? No, I have. No, no I've never paid for one. I've encouraged them. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've driven. Yeah, I've, I've chauffeured. I've, I've definitely <laughs> done my part. Had some close calls. Yeah, I don't feel that I I did less work in the event than you did. Clearly, that's why I laid there. That's why you were complaining afterwards. So if we're gonna bitch, I'll drive you. I'm not getting money from me. No. Is that what those notches are on the side of your mic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's only three, but I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. <laughs> yeah. No, I've never paid for one. I have had yeah. scares where yeah. I'm, you know when you do the thing as a guy where I please be on the same page as me, and then you say right. the words. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. But you really don't want the answer to Whatever be. Whatever you want yeah. to do are the as five, as... five most hollow words <laughs> yeah. a male has ever uttered in his life. You have such a, 
such a quiet agenda happening as you say <laughs> yes, that. Yes, you do. Yeah, because you're basically kind of subtly suggesting whatever you want to do means everything's open. Yeah. Let's explore all options, especially right. one. Yes. Yeah, and that's really – you can't say that because she's emotional and she'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> like you just hope that that's just flying right. out of your eyes. A Please. vacuum you know cleaner in one eye. <laughs> or, or you're Haggard winking. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Whatever you want to do at 621 East Northport Street <laughs> between 11 and 5 on Saturdays. Hey, I'm buying. As you're, as you're writing the check. Here, I think they'll take it. Yeah. it's uh, You fly all by. Or just clicking on. Uh, <laughs> you don't even have a car. You right. fly all by. <laughs> <laughs> you're clicking on babycaskets.com. Oh, oh, God. While you're saying whatever you want to do. Well, that'll change your mind real quick. <laughs> whatever you want to do is you hand her two Tylenol. <laughs> In a People magazine. <laughs> but you're already in the lobby. It's great. Yeah. So, no, I have never paid for one to answer your question. You, on the other hand, I'm wondering now how many. I'm an older dad, though. I'm 43 is when my daughter was born. Yeah. She's nine. Right, so. right, right. Which is great because he'll be dead before she's even, like, childbearing age. <laughs> yeah, the teen right. years. Yeah, she can't even. Like, she won't even, she'll be graduating and doing that speech at her thing yeah. about, I wish my dad was here. Which is beautiful. Yeah. I think those are the more beautiful. Everybody always says that. So you kind of should root for it occasionally because it's a better speech. It's a better speech, and I think it gives you a little edge. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to be a Supreme Court justice if both your parents were at your graduation. <laughs> you don't th- I think you might be right. You know? They've always got a story or a brother with a disability. or Yeah. yeah something bad had to – you had to grow up something weird. Yeah, there's got to be a chink in the armor. And by that, I don't mean <laughs> – I was just going to say, I'm not gonna yeah, touch you can that. adopt I'm a Chinese kid. Touch- <laughs> oh, you did it. You did it. He meant, he meant gook in the armor. Oh, oh my oh, god! I think that's inappropriate. I don't think wow! It, it used to be a thing. I had a guy who told me said he emailed me and he goes, "Man, my grandpa used to say to my uh, all the time. And in this day and age, my grandpa would go to jail. He would call cigarettes fags. He said my grandmother had a beautiful puss. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about her face. Uh, and he still used gay as happy. Yeah. So you know, he's like, well, yeah. my my grandfather, I he 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 said, uh, I don't. He's from Ireland. He goes, I don't like watching Fox. It's all colored shows. It's all colored people screaming at each other. This is back when it was like all Martin. Right. right. All those yeah. black Living color and Martin. Yeah. yeah. It's all colored people. And they didn't mean anything by it. No. That's what you said Just back couldn't then. couldn't relate to it. No, he kept, he'd write a check to the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Sure. And then he'd turn off Fox. <laughs> he did his part. I mean, think about Look, it. I'll donate, but I can't yeah. watch this. Yeah. yeah. Hey, think about it. You can write a check. To the NAACP, you can write a check to the United Negro College Fund, right. but you can't say it out loud as you hand them the money. Yeah. No, you couldn't. Yeah, you couldn't possibly say this is for the UN word <laughs> yeah. college fund. <laughs> yeah. What did you say? Or I'm writing this money for the good ones. Yeah, right. That's terrible. You can't yeah. say that at yeah. all. Yeah. You can say that about that. Yeah, you can't say that. You can say it about white yeah. people. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, my grandpa was a little different. He actually wouldn't let me watch different strokes in his house because he didn't want them in the house. Are you serious? Very. Yeah, Northwestern uh, Pennsylvania was a very different Swedish world. Got a little world. uncomfortable. <laughs> and he came from Sweden where it was like the the race mixing thing was not cool. Like, oh, I know because yeah. the, the American military show up. Yeah. And they, I've talked to black guys from the military that go to Sweden and they go, it is a they, – they are fighting each other to get on you. Well, oh, really? Oh, they love it. The is that Swedish right? Swedish women, they love it. Because it's new. Well, I was in Denmark when I was 18 for like three months. Uh-huh. And I had dark hair, uh-huh. and they were lining up for that. I, I had really? sex with models in Denmark. Just because you had dark hair? Well. Well, and, you know, you know obviously. You're, <laughs> you're, you're showing I'm you're well hung. With you. <laughs> You've told us this before. I'm well hung. You're very and, proud of it. And the word got around to the other girls. And here's the best part. Wow. I slept with this one girl. I remember, her name was Vile, and uh, she was a model. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I had sex with her. And then I was keeping a journal back then. I was writing everything down. And I wrote down, Viley's really beautiful, but we had sex, and she wasn't really that good. Okay. So she comes over, and she reads my journal. Oh. And she's pissed. Yeah. And then she bangs wrong. me with a vengeance. Yes. Always tell them they weren't very good the and first so time. so then you picked up the journal, ripped the page. Rewrite. Rewrite page one. <laughs> Action. Vile enters room. Chip on shoulder. Interior scene. Bedroom. Happy American lays back. His belly glowing and shiny. The scent Blonde of cherry hair. Lumineer. Cherry scent of cherry lumineer. 
blonde hair splayed across his smiling face. Oh, yeah. See, this is good. And I, I accidentally did that once with a girl because we we did it, and I thought I was the awkward one. I thought things – and she said, uh, was, was that, were you all right? And I'm like, oh, first time's always a little weird. Didn't realize what I had just said was, you can try harder in her mind because yeah. I was blaming myself. I'm yeah. like, first time's a little uh, – right. I'll be, I'll, I was just about like probably saying, I'll get better. Don't worry. Right. And then it was on her. Like she, yeah. she took it as a challenge, and things went crazy for a little while. I dated I like this uh, when I was in Boston. Met this girl, and she was a black girl. She was on the she had a track scholarship to Harvard. Wow, nice body. Oh yeah. And she'd only been a lesbian before. She was in oh. high school. She had a girlfriend in high school, and then she had a girlfriend at Harvard. And she'd never slept with a guy. So we went out a couple times. How'd you do that? You represented. She was looking to. Switch. Well, switch or at least see what it's like. Okay. Curious. And so uh, so we went out, had a few cocktails. I go back to this dorm at Harvard. I felt like Matt Damon in Goodwill <laughs> Hunting. And uh, and we had sex, and it was amazing. And when it was over, we're like basking in the afterglow. Right. She's having this epiphany that maybe, you know, she's supposed to be. This could be. This could be the thing. Right. And then I go, see that? Sex is sex. And she... Put her clothes on. You pissed her off. Threw me out of a room. <laughs> oh man! And I never saw her again. <laughs> never and saw- I was like, it would been the best sex. <laughs> you she were was trying a to track star. Give her, her a compliment. Never she saw was- Daryl Hammond again. Oh my! I mean, kicking God. the headboard. She was oh. powerful. <laughs> and you know how black girls, when they run track, the buttocks—it's just ridiculous. Oh, it's just gets round and protrudes yeah. a little bit. So you won her over and then pushed her back. More than likely. I've done it. I've done it with girls before. One time I remember laughing after having sex with this girl because it was so good <laughs> right. that I laughed like, oh, my God, was that not in – And joy. she got pissed off and yeah. threw me out. Yeah. You can only do that on the drive home. Right. You can only start thinking and laughing like how great yeah. things are. There's just no emotion can come off of you. No, just, you got to yeah. play it. There's only one way to yeah. play it. Dead. Sincere and oh, dead. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I just dead. play dead. Immediately yeah. play dead. Yeah. That means something good happened. There's no talking. We're all good. Right. I think that's right. the why it's in us, like naturally, just to drop out afterwards. Yeah, we don't. It's me weird. and my I'm wife. I'm tired of them laughing at me. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, and that's just the onlookers. Old. That's yeah. the sad part. Is no, crowd. me and my wife, we separate from each other. After intercourse, we separate yeah. like like your uncle and a black guy in a bar. <laughs> right. We just We just – we want nothing to do with each other. Yeah. And my wife, perfect. when she has an orgasm, which mm-hmm. is like 99% of the time, Congratulations. she, I mean, I don't buy convulses, it. eyes oh. back, sweat like crazy. She's the one we search on porn. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And That's then she awesome. rolls off, just rolls off into yeah. the fetal position, sleeps for like 17 hours. I have to feed her <laughs> soup the next morning. It's intense. You feel like king of the world, don't yes. you? Yes. Yes. I feel like what yeah. is in my sperm? Yeah, they, they can do this. It's like some sort of ambient. It's ambient. It's amazing. It's ambient yeah, sperm. I think it is. <laughs> I know mine is like kryptonite because I want it away from me and totally. I want to go to sleep. I'm yeah. weak. I'm weak. I feel yeah. useless and I want it off. And totally. when you get it out, you, yeah, you feel like you come back to life once you get it out of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> once it's away, it's like, okay, good. I'm a yeah. normal human being. Right. Again. Yeah, the Frankenstein thing's leaving me. Greg Fitzsimmons at the Tempe Improv this weekend. All weekend long, if you want to go, uh, you can call him 480-921-9877. You're writing a show called Crashing. Yeah, it's on HBO. We're about to do a third season. It's, it's great. It's a Judd Apatow show with Pete Holmes. Thank you. Yeah, I really like it. Pete and- Holmes is the star. We have uh, big guest stars this year, Artie Lang and uh, David Tell. And fairly accurate into the Gilbert idea Godfrey. of an up-and-coming comedian. It is. It's about, you know, and that's why I like writing on it is we basically just sit around and tell, tell your old stories. stories. Especially because Pete Holmes is a uh, fish out of water. He's, yeah. he's not a uh, – He's a Christian t- Not comic. a typical comic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he's a little he's a little bit alternative we're finding in the series. He's yeah. uh, less hardcore. He's more comfortable in a, you know, more creative, softer environment. Yeah. And so we, we see him go to the dark side uh, with Dave and all that. And, you know, a lot of stuff happens. But it, it's fun and it's hard – it's hard writing it because I was in New York for four months this summer. Oh, really? And you know, I got a family, so yeah. it's kind of hard to be away from them that much. Yeah, it can't be fun. So, well, it's hard. You got to find another girlfriend. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you got to set her up. Good yeah. set up, good leash. You got to get to her place. Right. Yeah. Then there's the venereal diseases to get rid of before you come <laughs> home. The abortions, although you date older ladies, so. That's why I date them. That's brilliant. That's yeah. actually it's a it's a save, it's a money saving plan. You pull out a condom and they just start cackling. <laughs> we don't need that. Where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs>
I've never dated an older woman than me. No, we definitely need Ever. a lot of cherry lube, but we do not need a condom. <laughs> And it's happening probably earlier and earlier in the evening with an old oh, lady, right? Yeah, you have dinner around 4. Right. <laughs> you make love at 4.45. Lawrence Welk comes on at 6. You're still on it. Yeah. Wow, it's amazing how it just falls in your lap that yeah. way. I did watch Lawrence Welk the other day. It's funny you should mention that. I didn't it's know it was so still amazing. Oh, it's, a, it's addictive. It's, now it's yeah. good because of the, the like the crazy nature of what you're watching yeah. was entertainment at one point. Right. And now it looks like people, clowns well, just those, goofing uh, around for you. Yeah. I forget their name, the sisters. They're yeah, all very frequent. Oh, they're, uh, you've yeah. never heard of any of the people either. Yeah. And you know what well, I was looking like? Well, it's like Prairie the... Home Companion, oh, yeah. kind well, of. Was. Except that uh, Lawrence Welk isn't, uh, <laughs> isn't fingering women <laughs> backstage. Can he I say got, that? He got, got out, he got out yeah. in time. Yeah. Yeah. You I think it's an assumption. Anything. I don't think that was titillating. That was an actual scientific law moment. Right. Yeah, I think you were actually making an accusation. Hashtag you too. I think he was drinking the whole time, I heard. Garrison Keillor? No. Lawrence Welk. Lawrence Welk. Really? I know yeah. he, liked the, the, he liked baby drinks, like champagne and wine and yeah, things. I don't think yeah. he was boozed up. Like, oh, okay. My awesome dad chicks loves around. LW. He does. Oh, oh, if, yeah. if, if See, I like on. to watch Lawrence Welk because it's on sometimes. If you've got nothing to do on a Friday and you're just staying at home that night and it yeah. comes on, and then he'll introduce the person, and, and now you can Google who they were. Yeah. And all they were were Lawrence Welk That's performers. It. And then yeah. they're dead. And That's they're like it. these beautiful women that performed for Lawrence Welk and then died. Well, like has years anyone from Prairie Companion left Minnesota? Never. I no, you're right. And, and they're Other and than Garrison jobs. Keeler, yeah. I couldn't go real deep on the uh... – There's nobody. Yeah. They're, they're, I but mean, like, I couldn't name... No, it's like, it's like the old time at midnight. No <laughs> career has ever been birthed out of that show. Have you done at midnight? A couple times. Do they write for you or do you do it all yourself? They actually help out. They yeah. have writers. Because uh, they can't have somebody die up there. No. Uh, you know, you write your own stuff yeah. and then you, you bounce it off of one of their writers and then their writers sometimes will have some ideas. No, they're great. I'm yeah. just making fun of it because it got canceled. Oh, did it get canceled? Yeah, it well, it's canceled. Comedy Central. Everything does. Yeah, it's Good, better, otherwise. It? it just comes and goes. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's kind of the, the endearing thing about Tosh at the end of his show, just to name off another show that Comedy Central has gotten rid of over the past Oh, years. is he off the air now? I don't know. He, no, he's not. But his show at the end, he says, uh, thanks, we'll be back with blah, blah, blah after this. Oh, and it's a show oh. that's been canceled and oh, he's he never repeated he? one. <laughs> really? they canceled everything. No great. way. Yeah. And some of them you forgot, like uh, Sports Night. We had Norm McDonald in here, and I said, uh, you got to mention last night on Tosh thing, we'll be back Sports Night coming up next. Yeah. Norm got pissed. Oh, really? Because he was still mad about the show getting canceled. Yeah, that show edge. was great. <laughs> I yeah. loved it. It was awesome. Yeah, and the writing staff was insane. Oh, yeah. They had Steve O'Donnell, like who was yeah. the head writer on SNL forever. And I think they had it was a dude who's on Saturday Night Live now was Kyle, uh, what's his name? Was, uh, damn it. He was just like his teen Nephew, he always put out in these awkward interviews. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I know he's on SNL. They all the yeah, it was an amazing group of people. Ben Last Hoffman year. wrote yeah. on it. The guy who's you know Wheeler Walker Jr. I don't know that one. What's oh, that? you got to have him, man. He's like uh, he plays country music, but he's making fun of country music, oh, and it's like super. It's the dirtiest lyrics you've ever heard in your life. Sold. Yeah, you got to have him in. He's great. I'm sold. Now, did your wife? Did she know all your stories that you've been? Gallivanting about You're the country about for years. The, she could care less. She doesn't care because the one where you said I, I wasn't sure if I was gay, so I went the to the woods in to the test woods. it. Could not doesn't care, care less. Wow, that's no, amazing. No, I tell her stuff like I. I mean, sometimes I wonder, and I've never cheated on her, but I wonder if I and I told her if she would even care. <laughs> and that's probably the reason I don't cheat. <laughs> there's because no, there's, there's no, no problem, tension. Yeah. There's no. I I tell my wife that all the time. I'm like I, I wonder. If you know, like you, like the day if she decided to leave, I wonder if there'd be any emotion in it at all. Yeah, and I don't know why. That's an insecurity of mine that she could just walk away at any time yeah. and feel nothing. It's sexy, isn't it? It is kind of hot because you got to keep nothing, her... or you feel nothing. No, 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 that she does. That yeah. would that would be no big deal. Like because I just it's a, it's like what you think of yourself deep down. It's like no one should love me at all. Like <laughs> no one should be right. The same I to think me. it's it's confirming your low self esteem, yeah. and it is also keeping you on top of your game. Because let's that be honest, be. when you get married. You sort of know the person's range. You've seen them at their lows. Yeah. You know how high they can operate when they're yeah. when they're on it and make a dinner reservation at a good place. They get theater tickets. You're like, all right, that's as that's as good as it's going to get, <laughs> right. and that's pretty good. <laughs> right. Right. But then it keeps you honest because once you get married, they don't allow you to go where then you're low. True. Like it, people go, oh, I love my my wife. She lets me be myself. You shouldn't be yourself <laughs> in a marriage. The whole point of getting married is that you're not going to sleep till noon in a studio apartment and eat leftover pizza. You're going to be a better version of yourself. Right. That's who you really or are. Or she's going to leave. Right. That's true. 
you're always trying to impress or you're going to be back in the studio. Well, especially if she acts like she'll leave you and not care. That's true. But throw in the Man, factor, though, that she's that. with you because she believes she can make you a better person. Yeah. I don't think better. I think that she can make you play your best hand. Right. She can keep you from getting into the worst you. Right. Maybe that's it. Yes. Instead of making you better, she can just keep you from falling too far. There's where some of the friction can happen. Did you have the epiphany with your wife ever of of like the time you realized, man, I must really love her because I would tolerate none of this? Mine was – and the reason I bring it up is because I remember uh, my wife had food poisoning. Yeah. And in the middle of the night, I heard her moaning and crying in the bathroom. I went on the floor and saw what I thought was a body mushwitz. She had lost like 12 pounds. Her <laughs> face had sucked in. Her teeth yeah. were the only thing showing in her face. Yeah. And my thought was, her abs look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I looked past all uh, of it. And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm, this is what people mean when they yeah. say they're in love. Her, yeah. She looked incredible. Right. Uh, her face uh, was a mess. She had right. I'd, I'd still hit it. I forgave right. it all. So I yeah. started to put the cherry lube on. And she's like, not now. Wow. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, so I've, I, those are those moments where you're like, "Wow, this is this is something different than what I do with any other human being yeah. in the world." Yeah, now well, childbirth I think is like that because Ugh. well, she complained so much when she was pregnant; it was so annoying, and you can't ever not be supportive when they right. complain about being yeah. pregnant. <laughs> and then once they have the baby, then they complain. You know, there's yeah. a lot of complaining, right? But you're so happy that you're having a baby, and it makes you feel closer right. that you put up with it. Yeah. Have you ever had a moment where you're like, "We're done." Never once. Never once. Isn't Never that once. You agree with me. Like recently I've come to this idea too that people in society tell you constantly that relationships are hard work and it's the, I think it's the worst advice you give people. It doesn't have to be. I don't think it's I, hard work. I don't think at all it is. And no. if you're saying it is, it's because you're just making an excuse for why you're not getting along or not well, the doing people it right. that But there's say, ways to – there's way if it turns into something that it's hard work, there's, there's times where you're going to work hard. There's ways to fix that hard yes. work. You yes. create There are that situations that are hard work. Your relationship is not hard work. Yeah. Right? No, when people go – you know, my marriage sucks. Those are the same people saying, my job sucks, yeah. my car sucks, my friends suck. Yeah. It's like, they well, suck. what's the common denominator here? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I think it is about if you are if you are performing at the top of your game, which you should be, you both are, the marriage is tight. Yeah. And, and it's, it's when one of you starts drinking too much or starts taking the other one for granted, that's when that's when things go wrong. You slag and off. You can't slag off. That's it. Yeah. It's, well, you can you, – yeah, you can't do that. It's perfect. And if you do, somebody's got to call you on it. And if once, they don't, then they the don't care. Once the resentment starts yeah. coming in and you don't uh, do that, that, it just compounds. And yeah. You divorced? Nope. I'm once. You're once divorced? Best thing that ever happened. Really? Oh, it's the greatest. It opens your eyes to everything. That one couldn't be saved. Uh, probably could have. Neither of us really wanted to. So probably not. I say it could have, but we'd have had to like each other more. No kids? No kids. Oh, so you walk away. Walk away. I lost some money. Had to buy my house back for myself, which was a little weird, and then moved on. So what was the arrangement? Was that the only alimony? Was that you? Oh, no, to- I didn't have to pay her at all. Yeah, no, no. We just basically split everything. Yeah. She, well, made, she made a decent amount of money. But, well, you know, yeah, well, she had a secret account I found out about later, but that <laughs> no, was fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She had big trust issues with her dad. Because yeah. her dad left her mom and had a high and dry account yeah. like, just in case because he had a lot of money and he didn't want her to have. So he f- hid a bunch of money. And so she had trust issues. So about a year after, I'm going through some papers and I'm like, well, this is something I wasn't involved in. Did you it go was, get it? No. I didn't, I didn't care. It was worth it. It was 150 grand. And you could have gotten half of it? I probably could have gone after it. And I'm like, you know what? It cost me that much money. By to the time the dust it. settles, you got 25. Didn't care. Didn't care. Yeah, yeah unless you yeah. make a phone call and you go, look, we can – we can split this pot now, or we can split a smaller pot later. <laughs> right. Yeah, I just didn't care. I, yeah, I, I was like, I'm fine. I didn't know it was there, so yeah. no harm. You didn't no want to go revisit. Done. Yeah, I didn't even. I just I was done with it. And I was Do your so folks happy. have money? Will you be left any money? Uh, th- not a ton, but they're all right. Like, yeah. how much you think you'll get? How much would I get from my parents? Yeah, if they died Jeez. now. My dad's you have a siblings. Question. Just one. Yeah. So you have she'll to get, split it. 50, she'll get 50. most of yeah, it. Yeah, she'll get yeah. some of it. <laughs> she won't get most of it. I'm clearly the favorite. <laughs> Uh, hey, my dad's done well. Yeah, my dad will. My dad will. My dad will. You think he'll get a million dollars? The problem with my dad he'll have is a heck of a trophy room. My I dad's mean, got. Elks. My dad's got. Oh, a, really? Oh yeah. yeah. No, he's got a ton of like hunting things. I don't know what to do with. He's already given me the guns. He's not even remotely close to dying, and he's given me all of his guns. You know what I would do? Good. I would take the guns and I would shoot the trophy. <laughs> shoot him again. <laughs> Target practice. <laughs> Put holes in them. <laughs> Terrible taxidermy. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah. But so, do you think they're worth a million dollars? Maybe. 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 And then uh, they own their house, probably. Oh yeah, but my, they're not married. So my dad is with uh, this other lady, and and they've got a couple kids. And I'm that. That's where I'll get lawyers. Those kids aren't touching it. Right. <laughs> the old man croaks. That's mine. Well, that's a tricky thing. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. I got a friend whose dad is wealthy, 
and he's married to this woman who's got these disaster children. Right. And that if the dad dies, she gets the money. Right. And my friend gets nothing. So so my, my friend's dad is like siphoning him off money. Oh, really? Yeah. So he's yeah. clearing it off the top already. Yeah. Brilliant. Yes, yeah. So I'll talk to my dad about that. I like my dad's uh, situation. It's the, the people he's with, the ladies with, and they're all great. Yeah. So if he decided to give it to them, it would be his choice. That would be fine. I wouldn't have this a problem. This is you on the air. I can't he can wait gift to Yeah, off the air we'll talk yeah. about that because I'm going to kill him. You can do the cash gift at the end of the year like for Christmas. <laughs> grand grand. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's actually – it's. Uh, I think it's uh, for a couple. Wow, thirty-eight. Into this. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight thousand dollars tax-free yeah, for seventeen a, gift. a person. Plus, they can that? throw another fifteen in the college account if they want to. Yep. This is glorious. Yeah. yeah. Send me back to college. Is that what you're saying? Oh, I'm into oh that. that's right. You don't have kids. <laughs> that's fine by me. I'll go back. Kids. I never graduated. <laughs> I think that counts. I think you can still send his son yeah, to college. Who's, who's to say? Yeah. Why? Am, why is there an age limit on yeah. that? Forty-five. Maybe I want to maybe expand my horizon. Get out of radio. You never know. I can't afford these M and M's anymore. It's getting crazy in that break room. Uh, Greg Fitzsimmons is at the Tempe Improv all weekend long. You got anything to uh, make the world better? Oh, you've got your uh, podcast too, Fitzdog Radio. Fitzdog still- Radio twice a week. This week we got uh, Adam Carolla. Next Beautiful. week Bob Saget, um, wow. Moon Unit Zappa, and Sky Phoenix. Moon and Sky. Yeah, <laughs> have a new podcast. <laughs> what is Moon Unit Zappa doing? She's doing a podcast. Uh, other than that, though, just, um, she's you know, promote she, something on it. She, I think she writes. She wrote a really good novel called America that I read. Oh. And then Sky Phoenix is River Phoenix's sister. Right. And uh, so they – I already pre-taped it. They were great. Yeah. Yeah, they were, they were super. That's fascinating. You talk about dad leaving you some dough. And Moon did all right for herself, but I think Frank might have uh, treated the family. Was Sky Phoenix yeah. recently divorced? Or that was – Oh, I don't I know. Someone, okay. We didn't get yeah. into any. We, it was oh, all okay. about love and transcendence and spirituality. Oh. It was beautiful. It was a lovely day. You're going to air that on Christmas. We all made love. Oh, my God. I'm going to listen to this for sure. <laughs> the moon Fitz and Dog the sky. <laughs> Fitz Dog, moon and sky. It's a beautiful thing. All weekend at the 10 p.m. Prof. Greg Fitzsimmons, thanks for coming in, man. It's a pleasure. Great all seeing it. you Thank guys. You. you too, man. Right. We'll see you this Sunday. Come to the game. It's 98 yep. KUPD. The best the world has to offer in music, drama, and comedy.